how to form molecular compounds and draw Lewis structures is the subject of another video. However, suffice it to say that molecular compounds differ from ionic compounds in that we share electrons to form a bond, a chemical bond, rather than transferring electrons to form an ionic bond. Okay, so we're not transferring, we're now sharing, so that each of these chlorine atoms can be said to have a full valence shell of electrons. Okay, sharing to have eight for each when they don't have eight individual. So if we're looking at the periodic table, we're going to name the most electropositive element first. Just like with ionic compounds, metals are the most electropositive element. And so if we divide the periodic table between the metals and the nonmetals, the metals are going to appear on the left hand side and the nonmetals are going to appear at the top and to the right. So metals came first, they're the most electropositive in ionic compounds. Anions came last, they're the most electronegative. We're going to follow the same trend. Except with molecular compounds, we're going to have a nonmetal and another nonmetal rather than a metal and a nonmetal. Okay? And so if we have no prefix, and again, most electronegative would be fluorine. So fluorine's always going to go last. And then things that are up and to the right are more electronegative. So if you're further left or down on the periodic table, you're going to be named first in the, um, in the molecular compounds. Fluorine would always be last. Okay, And so if we name the most electropositive element first, we're not going to put a prefix if it's a single atom. However, we must use a prefix if there's more than one. And so the prefixes that we're going to use, 1 through 10, doubt we'll ever use 7, 8, 9, and 10, but we might. Um, mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nona, and deca. Okay, so for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 atoms. So the, sec the second thing we must do is name the most electronegative element last and we have to use a prefix no matter how many there are and then a special case when it's an oxide is the second and we use a mono prefix instead of monoxide we would drop one of the O's and just use monoxide instead okay so we'd much rather have it sound monoxide than monoxide let's do a few examples that's the best way to learn this so two nitrogens, we have to use a prefix, di, name it just like we would a metal, dinitrogen, and then the most electronegative element last, must use a prefix, and we have to still use the IDE ending, okay, just to make sure that we are still paying attention to that. So dinitrogen monoxide is the first. Then we have carbon. Notice we don't use the mono prefix. Carbon monoxide. So that's the deadly gas. Always open your tents. Don't burn candles in a closed space or lanterns and open the garage when running your car engine. Okay and then finally here we have sulfur hexafluoride not flower eyed it's uh, fluoride okay so hexa being the prefix for six so not too bad just gotta learn those prefixes and then a lot of textbooks and, and um, classes throw in linear alkanes and I'll throw those in here um, with the alkanes they're a hydrocarbon containing only single bonds so a hydrocarbon it, that contains only single bonds is going to have a molecular formula that some number of carbons and some number of hydrogens which is double that number of carbons plus two for example if we have methane that would be one carbon and then two times one is two plus two CH4 okay and so then ethane would then be C2H6 propane would then be C3 um, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8 and you get the idea just keep going with that and so 
again prefix plus ane so for example with four carbons we would have butane not tetraane different set of prefixes here okay so let's look at the whole list of them so with one through ten they're the they're um, not the same methane ethane propane butane pentane okay pentane picks up the same um, so penta but pent is the prefix hexane heptane octane no names familiar decane and then we get to 10 to 11 and 12 undecane duodecane tridecane tetradecane repeats the prefixes we learned before all the way to 20 which is icosane okay so that's a lot but let's only learn um, for my class let's learn up to 10 shall we okay for now okay when organic chemistry rolls around we'll get as many as you like